be making basics. What's going on, YouTube? Be making basics back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today I'm actually going to be starting a new series. It's going to be called The Best Plugins for Melodies. And uh, basically, what we're going to be doing is highlighting um, different plugins over there. I don't know how long we're going to do this series, but we're going to be highlighting different plugins that I feel like it, you know, help level up your melodies. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is a, a melody that I created. It's super simple. Um, basically, I went over here to uh, Omnisphere. I selected a, a sound here and um, this one right here. And then pretty much I just did a real, real simple uh, pattern, two notes. Just kind of follow it. Let's just check out the pattern first, and then I'm gonna put tell you about the plugin um, into this episode of what we would say could help you with your melodies. Now it's already pretty much a dope you know melody but let's say if i wanted to take that melody up to the next level um this is what we're going to do now first thing i'm going to do is actually right click it and bounce it in place this is going to turn it into an audio file a wave file whatever the only reason i'm doing that i just didn't want to have to put too much um, processing power on this even though there's no uh, effects omnisphere has a bunch of effects on that actual sound so i'm just going to put the effect on the actual audio file so um, what I want to highlight today, there's a, uh, a plugin by Waves, okay? By Waves Audio, it's pretty hard. And it's, let me see where that, man, where is that? It's called Brower Motion, okay? Brower Motion, okay? And what this is going to do, it's going to take your melody and throw it around in the mix different places, and they have all these different presets that you can use um, to get the right vibe. So let's just kind of listen to it. And I'm just gonna pretty much just go through some of the presets. Obviously you can come in here and do some of this stuff yourself. We'll also kind of look at some of this, but we'll start off with the presets. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play and we'll uh, start going through some of these presets just so you can see how this plugin sounds. Um, and before we do that, by the way, I do have a link to this plugin. Just click on it and you can get that plugin right from Waves Audio, all right? Let's check it out. This one's pretty dope, you know, you, you do gotta kind of go through these to find the right one, but let's keep on going. This guitar chorus definitely sounds different. Let's see how it sounds before. So it gives like a little stereo with some drive to it. Pretty dope. Thank you. 
depending on how you use the plugin, you know what I'm saying? You could take a regular melody that was sounding pretty dope before and make it sound even more dope. Let me see how many more presets we got on this. A lot of presets, man. Um, I'll go through a couple more of these and then we'll look at some of these knobs. Should be able to go to full reset here. Boom. Let's just look at some of these knobs and see what we could do here to affect the sound. Looks like you got a panner. That's your first one. You have a second panner here. Um, you can link, I guess, those two together there. And you can <clears throat> pretty much sync, do some manual stuff. Different patch types here. You can line it up, to, you know what I'm saying? go out at certain bars and stuff like that i would see different um sign you know pattern waves here got some pre-delay that with we got this trigger too um you know triggered on certain things got dynamics right now it's off but we got this panner just direct out and then we got this mixer and then it looks like also you can come over here and uh probably change some of these points and stuff like that like I can turn that out let's turn this output try to mix down let's pan that some and put it here let's play around with some of these knobs here put a little drive on here go to this panner throw a little this ratio up um, we got this motion filter throw this gain up the gain size up we'll change it to this one instead we'll reverse it We'll turn it offset up some here. We'll go to this circle instead of this uh this one. We'll go with bar two here. You feel me? We're just gonna do a couple of different things just to, you know, um see how it sounds like now. Let's check it out. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to show you this pro this plugin again. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing even some more fire plugins on here. Um, got a whole list of plugins I'm going to be showing y'all over the next videos to come. Make sure you go ahead and get subscribed if you want to check this out. We're also going to be dropping two a day, so I'm bringing you dropping something on a plugin and also be dropping us some type of tutorial. So look out for that. Also, go to our site beatmakingbasics.com. We have our latest course, which we just dropped Super Fire Logic Pro 10. Um, point eight. Okay, it's showing you how to make beats in the software, all the tips, tricks, anything that you've seen on the channel, plus some. Okay, it's all going to be in the course. And then, last but not least, we have our beat making master program. It went from bundle to program because basically, how the program works is you get all the courses, sound kits, and templates that we drop on the site for life. Okay, so you're gonna get everything that's currently on there and any new drops. So that means the people who already got the beat making master bundle, which is actually now the beat making master program. Y'all just got an updated course for free, which is the Logic Pro 10.8 course, okay? And then I also did update the um, the Rap Lords kit. It has about 20 extra sounds in it. Super fire. Y'all got that update as well. So make sure you check that out. And last but not least, also click in the link in the description below. I do have a direct link where you can go ahead and check out this uh, Bauer Motion plugin. And like I said, man, see you in the next video. We're out. Peace.